Good morning, you guys. So it is so early. Sorry. I'm getting ready to run out to go to work. I'm hoping that I, you know, we're all so busy for this holiday. Let me put my light on so you can see. I wore red lipstick today. I have not worn red lipstick in a long time. I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair. I didn't, I should have washed my hair last night, but I just knew that I didn't have a lot of time. It's only eight o'clock. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair. So I thought I would come on to start today's vlog. It's Wednesday. And you guys, I don't know if this is like an ADHD thing. I don't use that word lightly either. But like, I don't know why I thought I had an extra couple of days. Like, that's not the my makeup thing. Um, I don't know why I thought Christmas was the following weekend. So I had a quick panic attack this morning. My husband calmed me down, told me we will get half of it done tonight. I can work on it tomorrow while I have the day off. And then Friday when he's off, um, after I'm done work, I will um, finish. So I do this every year. This is nothing new. I don't know what to do with my hair. It's so bad. This is nothing new. I do this every year. And it all works out. It's just that I still have to get my grandfather a Christmas present and a birthday present. My grandmother something, which I can do all that really fast tonight. And my two sisters something. Um, my problem is, is I have nothing for Christmas dinner. And I'm supposed to make a big pot of stuffed cabbage for my grandfather. But I will get it all done tonight. It's just, I've spent so much money already and it's just like anxiety inducing. Now for my lips, these lipsticks are old. I probably shouldn't have worn them, but I have, I wanted an orangey red. So I have Anna Nicole from Jeffree Star on and that was dry as shit. So I put on, this is old, you guys, Maybelline Neon Red 890. Do you remember when these came out and they were like, there was like a neon purple, there was a neon orange. I still have the neon orange, you guys. These have to be, do they make these still? This is so beautiful and I probably shouldn't have put it on my lips, but it didn't, it doesn't have any odor to it. This is how old it is. It literally says new on it. I'm disgusting. All right, let me try to figure out what to do with this hair. Sorry, I don't even have my clothes on yet. You can see I am rocking like a uh, greasy, uh, what's that character? Tammy from um, Chelsea Lynn. Oh God, what am I gonna do with my hair? Um, I don't like braids. So I'm wondering if I should just try to do a ponytail. I wore it in a bun yesterday. I did vlog a little bit yesterday, but I feel like I talked too much in the video. And it was like 17 or 18 minutes of me just talking on my ride down, which I know some people don't mind, but it was like, I think I got a little lost in like transit, lost in transit and wasn't like, I was just jabbering and it wasn't making much sense. So I'm going to scrap that and just start over today. I still haven't made my sister's blanket. I've just been so busy. I didn't even get home till almost six o'clock last night because yesterday was just a long long day at work and I had a meeting late in the afternoon and then I had to take the person I work for's grandmother to the grocery store and it's fine because they work so well with my schedule that I would never complain it's not that it's just that this is the like worst time of the year to be trying to get stuff done and scramble you know what I mean and I can just feel myself panicking. I really, really need to stop doing this. I need to start shopping months in advance and be done. And I say this every year that I want to be done by this time. And I just never am. You know, do I braid my hair? Or do I leave it in this pony? These definitely look like shit, but that's okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair, you guys. So today is Wednesday. I have technically, I want to be done everything by Friday. Um, Christmas Eve is until, Christmas Eve, thank God, is until Sunday. Um, so we shall see. 
and I w wouldn't have been like I would have been able to get some stuff done yesterday except my sister called me and wanted to keep me updated on crazy stuff going on in her life and that's the only time she calls me is when she has gossip which is fine I'm pretty much done shopping as far as like anything crazy needing to get done um do I want to wear a bow today I wonder if I should put the thing back in a po- if I should put my hair back in a bun and do just like a slicked back look with the red lip. But I'm pretty much done big shopping. I just need to get a few little things and food is the most important thing right now. Um, and making my sister's blanket and having that ready by Sunday. Which I can work on that at some point tomorrow. So hopefully I just can be out of work by one today and be home by two and there's that my my dishwasher still isn't wor working and the part to fix it is more expensive than buying a damn dishwasher so it's my husband thinks it's a heating element i asked him just to rig it up till i can get through the holidays oh geez louise what a mess Okay, that's not bad. I need a little bit of hairspray just because my, well, I guess I don't. My hair is so greasy. I'm going to go throw on something. It is freezing. It was so bitter. Do I have any more bobby pins? Not here. It was so bitter cold yesterday, you guys. Oh, yes, I do. It was ridiculously cold, and I was outside in the morning. Oh, God, it was so bad. And then I'm going to pin this right here. And let's just hope it stays and doesn't move. I don't love buns. They're not my favorite look anymore. But that's not bad, is it? No, not for... I wish I could curl... Had time. I might have time to... I don't know if these need to be curled. You know what? If I don't need to put heat on my hair, I'm not going to. Um, This red lip is seriously throwing me off because I haven't, like, tried to blot it a little bit. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Um, that's a little bit better. I haven't worn a red lip in so long. I used to wear them probably almost daily. I used to love watching Graveyard Girl, and she used to wear red lipstick every day. Even when she didn't have makeup on, she still would wear red lipstick, and I used to love it and think it was a very, like, sophisticated look. And I think red's like a big, like, powerhouse move when you're, like, wanting to impress people. You put a red lipstick on. Some of my favorites, though, I will share with you really fast. Promotion Day from Huda Beauty is one of those dark, vampy reds that are so good. It's almost like a true red. Like, it doesn't pull blue. I like a blue or I like an orange red. Um, I don't really go for these more neutral ones, but if I'm going to, I know this is pricey, but it's gorgeous. And if you're like a really big into red lipstick, invest in a good one because red lipstick can be very difficult to wear because it bleeds. This is a matte lipstick. This is a really, really good option if you're somebody who wears red on the daily. I don't recommend, even though um, Milani is my literal favorite lip liners, I don't really recommend their true red it's too pinky for me. I need to find, if anyone has any suggestions on an affordable lip liner that's just a red that I can kind of mix and match with anything, let me know. I have a couple other reds that I want to show you that I love. That's my number one. I used to have Gerard Cosmetics Fire Engine. That was a great one, but my dog ate it by accident. That's not it. I have a, a Revlon one that I love somewhere. Oh, come on. Where are you? Are you not in this bucket? Are you not in this bucket? No. Okay, hold on. It's in my other bucket. I do want to share with you. I have a video from last year where I showed all of my Christmas, like, the reds that you should wear this time of the year. But Fire and Ice is nice from Revlon. It's like one of those classics that are um, very much the 1950s. 40s. I believe that's when this first launched, but it does have that pink undertone that I don't 
necessarily love. This is that other one from the Neon Vivids. This one's Electric Orange. I save it because I have nothing like it and I don't know if they still make it. And I have nothing like this. If you are, if you're deep skin, like even like the deepest of deep skins, those beautiful like blue undertone deep skin tones, orange lipstick on African American women. I'm sorry, there's nothing more beautiful. Orange on African American people, there's nothing more beautiful. I, I something about it on their skin tone, it's like made for them. It's perfection on them. Um. This is Anastasia. I hope I don't offend anyone. You certainly don't have to wear orange. I just, me personally, anytime I see a um, African-American woman in orange, I just like drool. She's so beautiful. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Spicy. This is more of an orangey tone one. I don't want to swatch this because it stains. This is a great option. I'm trying to find that other Revlon one. Is this it? No, that's Cherries in the Snow. That's another good Christmas color. This is more of a, um, a purple red. I don't really have time to be doing this, but I wanna show you my favorite one. Is this it? No. Basically it's, oh, I found it. This is 006, really red. This is a dupe for Max Ruby Woo. Now this is a true like blue base like how you can see a blue undertone. This is going to make your teeth beautiful. This is usually the one I wear. This and spicy because I either go blue or I go super orangey. You guys, can you believe I used to wear this color? I used to love, love this color. And people would always say to me, I am obsessed with that color. What is it? I could never wear it. And I would always say to women like, yes, you can. Anybody can wear anything. But I used to, can you believe it? I used to wear this color probably once a week. I loved it. Oh, Como, I think it's C-O-M-O -O from Stila. You guys, I don't want to swatch it because it stains. Look at this. I'm telling you, can you imagine me wearing this? First of all, it made your teeth yellow. Plus, it kind of has a funny smell. It's definitely time to go through my lipsticks again and get rid of it. I hold on to these because it's like... I had just gotten a little bit of money and had just started buying like my first experience with um, more high end makeup. Um, so it's hard to throw stuff out, but I know some of it, it's just like time to go that aren't powder products. Like I know I shouldn't have worn these today, but they're on my lips. I don't love it. I am such a nudes and browns girl now that reds just look funny they like they translate well on camera they look pretty but in real life my grandfather's gonna have something to say because he hates women in red lipstick which I should tell him to kiss my ass because he's a man and shouldn't be minding my business but um he is also of that age where it's like that boomer age he's 80 so they just say things they shouldn't I suppose but I will see you very soon okay you guys so I am finally out the door my dog had to go to the bathroom, of course, and I forgot to sh turn my car on, so my windshield is frosty. So I'm waiting for that. In the in like natural lighting, the lipstick actually looks kind of pretty, and I've been doing a little more of a natural brow where I don't put as much product in. I feel like they look a little softer with my hair color. Definitely let me know your opinions, and I'm not doing a more defined brow. Like I'm just running um, a little bit of color through it. Um, and my other dog woke up with his eye like this. I've looked at it. It looks a little goopy. It doesn't look like there's any injury to the eye because he'll open it the whole way. Um, I don't know if maybe he got a little hair in it. So I gave him a 12 milligram Benadryl just in case he's having a little bit of like an allergy or something. I have to get gas because I am, I've never let my car get this empty on gas. It's just been like... I'm, I'm okay and I'm ready for Christmas to be over. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just sitting here waiting for my car to kind of warm up before I take off. I brought lunch with me today, thank God. Yesterday I didn't eat anything till I got home and I started to get that wicked headache. So I brought a chicken sandwich and um, just some cheese and crackers. So I have something throughout the day that I can munch on and I brought a Sprite cranberry. Um, I don't even know why I'm telling you all this except I'm seriously waiting for my car to kind of defrost a little 
I'm gonna put a podcast on so I can get going on the road. My commute's about 40 minutes. And I just seriously need to get home and get the rest of my stuff done. I'm gonna give my daughter, I thought about it, and I know she needs a little job, but I felt bad because she's too old not to have like a little gift for everyone. So I said to her, you know, I'll give you some cash this year. Go get me and daddy something small. If get your aunt something, both of your aunts something small, just go to five and below or Dollar Tree, get them both something and then get your boyfriend his present and your secret Santa. I'd probably give her maybe a hundred dollars to at least have on her. Um, it might sound like a lot, but in this day and age, um, she'll be lucky to get five gifts for a hundred bucks. But I, she can even just do a combined gift for her dad and I. I just think that she's at that age where she needs a little something for people under the tree. Um, especially how um, much her aunts take care of her. I know, I've never had that happen. The fuel's low. I'm going, I'm going. Um, her aunts bought her a very very expensive they split the cost and beautiful golf bag if you don't know golfing of course all three of us my husband my daughter and I all couldn't pick more expensive hobbies um but she is the second in her golf team as far as like being the better player and it's liable to there is a golf team a women's golf team at the college she's looking at and you guys, with the rate she's going, it's very possible she gets a golf scholarship. And people kind of don't look at golf, but let me tell you something. There's a lot involved in it. And they got her a beautiful beige bag that she is going to ship because she gave them two options. She gave her the more expensive one that she really wanted, but she was reasonable and gave them one that was like her section, second section, her second option. I got to go. I got to go get gas right now. But they got it for her. So she, they're, her aunt's um worship the ground she walks on i mean they love her and she is very very lucky to have such two incredible they're more like her sisters but really they're biologically her aunts but she was raised with them they're only six and seven years apart and those two women would probably do there's not anything i can think of that they wouldn't do for their niece and not many people get that lucky to have aunts like that and to have both of their husbands especially my middle sister love her so much and I feel so safe and I'm very fortunate because not a lot of women get the luxury to be around good men and my daughter has had such decent examples I mean not everyone's perfect I'm not saying that but she's had an amazing relationship with her father. All of his friends are pretty decent people. They drink a lot, but other than that, they're really good men. I would never let my daughter alone with any of them just because that's my own trauma. <clears throat> Not because they personally would do anything. They're just amazing people. She has two brothers-in-law, or they're my brother-in-law, but they're like hers that worship her and love her. And my grandfather, I mean, what more could you ask for? because I know people don't realize how valuable good men are in your life. It just, um, not that women aren't as valuable, but it's like when you have a man that shows you like how you should be treated and not, and now like the boyfriend she has is like, he's fantastic. And I am just very happy for her. He's just such a nice young man. I mean, it doesn't, it does help that his dad is a parole officer for sex crimes. I mean, that does help. When you see the most bottom of the barrel scum, I suppose you're going to raise your kids as best as you can. So I don't even know why we're talking about this. My car is warmed up. I love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, you guys. I have a 78 pound smoker box. I'm trying to get upstairs. I just drove... Sorry, I had to push my glasses up. Probably well over the speed limit to get home before someone stole it because someone just stole my sister's $250 package for my daughter's golf bag. And I don't even know where to begin to fight it. I'm so pissed, but I thought it'd be funny and amusing to put um, myself on blast and see if I can get this up the step. So 
if it doesn't look like I'm dying, I'll, I'll post this. But I'm trying to get 100 pounds up the steps. I'm so upset today because of my daughter's package being stolen. I could cry. So let's try to get this up the steps. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. I gotta get my dogs. Let me catch my breath. Oh my god. You guys, that was 80, 78 pounds of pure I'm a badass bitch. Come on, boys. Gilly looks like his ear, not his ear, his eyes doing better. Today wasn't a bad day, actually. Today turned out. It started out great, and it turns out, instead of calling me on Monday, um, when the package went missing, my sister decides to tell me today, on Wednesday, I'm like, do you understand Christmas is Monday? There's nothing we're going to be able to do now, other than pray to God we can file a claim with UPS. UPS is terrible. It, that's a shame. $250. So now she's out $500 because, of course, she went out and bought another one instead of trying to fight the company. This is the uh, placard that came of the two of us. Is that not beautiful? Oh, my gosh. I don't know if it works. So um, it's supposed to be the... Um, URL or whatever those, I don't know what it's called. You're supposed to be able to scan it and it's supposed to play the song. So we shall see. The picture looks great. That's from two years ago. The two of us are three years ago. Oh, God. I can't believe I just lifted 78 pounds up the steps. Okay. So yeah, the package is stolen. She couldn't put a claim in it first with UPS. So she had to call them and they're not nice. I mean, they probably get this shit daily now. Oh, I'm so upset. Hey, what are you doing up there, mister? All right, I will be back. I have, thank God I went to Walmart with Donald earlier. Um, he was very overwhelmed today because the internet wasn't working at the house. So he really didn't want to do much, which is bad and good for me at the same time. So we ran to Walmart and I got the few things I needed. And then I just helped his grandmother get stuff prepared for Christmas. And now I am home and I have to do wrapping and figure out what else I might need. I am like overwhelmed, but I'm okay. Hey, you guys. So I was playing with the thing that I got my sister because I didn't know it wasn't working with my, sorry, there's things dangling. It wasn't working with my um, camera. So I didn't, I thought maybe I got ripped off and didn't want to link it for you guys in case I did. So this is what it looks like. It's a picture from Christmas a couple years back. It's one of our favorite pictures together, and the picture is... And then you go on to Spotify and scan it, like where there's a little picture, and then it plays the song. So that is... This was worth it. It was $20. I'm going to see if my husband... I should have bought the stand for it. Um, I'm either going to go buy a little frame for it from the dollar store... Or I'm going to see if my husband can make me a wood, something out of wood for it. I can't believe I carried that up the steps. I looked back to camera just to see how horrible I looked. I looked pretty badass trying to fly that thing up the stairs. I also finally found the Queen Anne. I love cordial cherries, but I like French vanilla. Found them. Very happy. Um, I'm just waiting on my husband's one gift. That should be here tomorrow. Um, I'm going to wrap and do... How's your eye, baby? 
and make my sister's blanket. How's your eye, baby? Does it, his eyes open. His eye wasn't open this morning. Oh, and I'll show you my daughter's Christmas PJs. These were $12, well, 13 with tax. Um, these were the cutest ones they had in her size. Everything was like my size or bigger. Look how cute these are. I wanted the nighty. I wanted the puppy nutty, puppy nutty, the puppy nighty for seven bucks, but they didn't have it. So if they have it at my Walmart, um, I'll probably pick it up. I do have um, a bundle of dog toys coming tomorrow for them. So for a mental note for myself, I got to go get a turkey for us. Then I have to get um, stuff to make stuffed cabbage, a few things to make dinner for us um and i need to get my grandfather a birthday present a christmas present something from my grandmother and i think like something from my sisters and that's it and i'm either going to do all of this tomorrow by myself i'm going to see what my husband wants to do if he wants to eat, go out tonight or, and do it or if he wants to just make dinner but i want to get my turkey i think they're 99 cents a pound at aldi but i don't want a great big turkey that's the problem but yeah, I'm going to check on his eye. How do you feel, baby doobies? Oh my goodness, that eye looks so better. How's your eye feel? I think it was an allergy. So I will talk to you guys a little later when I'm getting some stuff done. Bye, guys. Okay, you guys. So it is 6 o'clock. We just had <clears throat> some. This room is really, really bad. Look at all this stuff. That's my daughter's pile. I know it doesn't look like a lot. And she's got one big present over here. But it's very different once they get older. And when they start wanting more, like, quality over quantity. Sometimes it can look a little low. Um, and we don't do gifts for the adults other than, like, our household. So Christmases look a lot smaller than they used to. Um... I'm just getting un ready for bed. Getting ready for bed. Oh goodness, I can't get my earring out. I need to wash my hair. Thank the Lord I can wash my hair today. Um, most of my wrapping's done for my daughter. And tomorrow I'm going to get everything done. I made a list so I know everything I need to do. Um, and I'll bring you along with me. Um, yep, I think that's it for today. Today was a more productive day. Today was a better day. I did spend some time with my grandmother, too, for a little bit. And her friend was over, who I adore. She's just the cutest, sweetest thing in the world. And she had just gotten dental surgery. I gotta floss my teeth. I was eating pork. We had... We had uh, short ribs on the grill, I think it was. Short ribs or country ribs, something. And a little bit of Mexican rice and broccoli. But it always gets stuck in my teeth really bad. But she just had dental surgery. And she is not doing good. Oh my goodness, she's not doing good. So definitely keep her in your thoughts that she starts to feel better. She was feeling so lousy. She said that she, honest to God, if she didn't start to feel better, was going to go to the hospital. And I can't imagine taking that lightly from her because she worked in healthcare. So I can't imagine uh, her going unless she really, really desperately needed it. And she's kind of like paranoid like me. She can't take narcotics because she has an allergy to them. Um... And she was scared to take, um, so she's only been taking one 350 milligram of Tylenol and one ibuprofen. And I'm like, Donna, like, I don't want to upset you, but that's just not going to be enough. Not with this. I said, it's safe to take two 500 milligram Tylenol. It is safe. Um, I said, you just can't exceed 4,000 milligrams in, um... 24 hours I was like if you're scared take it I'll sit with you if you don't have a reaction in like 40 minutes I think you're gonna be okay and you guys 
she to finally we convinced her to take the two tylenols so she took two 500 milligram tylenols and one 200 milligram ibuprofen and like within i guess like it takes about a half hour for your digestive system to break down the medication within 20 minutes she was feeling better and she's like oh my god i feel so much better i'm like because you're just not right now you have to keep up with the pain medicine and make sure you keep it in your system at all times until this infection passes you know so i'm gonna go take a light nice hot shower and then i'm gonna have a glass of wine and read i'll show you the wine because i lost the clip last time i'll definitely show it before i end this vlog and edit it all right you guys so here is the wine I have two new bottles. It's the D'Amato's, I think that's how you say it, Vineyards Cranberry Wine. This is so rich and good. There has to be maybe like a plum, something plummy in it. Oh, it's just so, so good. And it's very affordable. So I just wanted to share the new wine that I've been really liking. Um, I've been trying a lot of really good wines lately, but this has been probably my favorite. All right, I will see you all tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. We're getting super close to Christmas.